CWC TV presents The Code Man Chronicles! Hello everybody, welcome to the second episode of Kodaya Speaks and I am Kodaya Carlson and thank you guys for watching this video. You are possibly viewing this video right now on the CBC TV channel and or on the Kodaya, the, um, the Code Man Chronicles. And while I sit to you here on either one of those pages, look over to your right and you can see a list of videos that I have made on those channels. Take a couple minutes afterwards when you're done watching this video just to take a look and see at my videos. You know, just take a look at them. If you're watching this on CBC TV, I try to it to be funny on all of them the whole entire time along with the Codeman Chronicles. Today's rant slash my opinion, basically what I'm speaking about on today's episode is proper movie theater etiquette. The other day, ah, <laughs> tipped you over. Okay, the other day I went to go see a movie. It was Hangover 2. I'll have a movie review on that later. Anyways, on the subject. Okay. We were, me and my, my, my brother were in the movie and there are people sitting right behind me. You know, here I'm thinking, though, hey, you know, these are good people that could be good. So I went to go put my, you know how you have like armrests in the movie theater? I went to go put my armrests there, but when I put my arms down, I felt the person's feet. They took off their sandals, bare feet of the person I don't even know, put it right on there. So when they put it right on there, they moved my arms up. So I, you know, it's like, first of all, really, you're going to put your armrests on your feet up on my armrest of the chair that I'm sitting in and all you had to do was move over so that you could do that. But no, you had to do that right behind me. And I, oh, I'm just kidding. But I just think, uh, and I just think that that is just lame. Why, why you gotta do that? Why do you have to? It's just stupid. You know, it's like, why can't you just like keep your feet on the floor? Mm -hmm. Or you could move on over with your buddy and be like, hey, let's go put our feet right here instead of disturbing this awesome person that's sitting right in front of you. And if the movie is rated R, let's say, you know, like a, a Hangover 2, it shows in the theaters some material may not be suitable for children under 13. But for Hangover 2, there are parts in that movie where I was like, I shouldn't even be watching this. And I'm 20 years old. I've had other friends who are a lot who are like, um who are older than me and they're like, I shouldn't have even watched that. And they were like in like in their like late twenties and they were watching that. <laughs> but why do parents gotta drag along their children to go see a movie that's way too older for them? And as soon as they get home, they'll be asking uh, their parents these questions. Mommy, 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 you know. Oh, it just makes no sense. Why do you gotta bring these people in to go do that? Why do you gotta bring your why do you gotta bring your, your children in? Well I couldn't find a babysitter. Then do then, then don't see hangover too. Right now in theaters is Kung Fu Panda, Hoodwinked 2, all those sorts of movies that you could have brought your kids with to see. And while you and your husband are gone and away, you can go see Hangover or any other movie that is not suitable for children under the age of 13. But there are mature children out there. Bull crap. I'm not even mature. I act like a little kid. Okay? Okay? I laugh when someone says, I pootered. I laugh. Why do I? Because there's a little big kid. Actually, there's a little kid trapped right inside me. And his name is Jimmy. Ha! <laughs> I just made a reference. Anyways, it's just... <clears throat> and people... T Text while in the movie. They're texting. Oh my god, how are you doing? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, how are you? I'm enjoying a wonderful movie about three guys that are hungover in Bangkok 
and here you're carrying on a conversation right next to me with your friend and you're wondering how she's doing. Really, really, you paid seven bucks to see this movie. Maybe it's more for you guys that can be seen in movie theaters, I don't know. But it cost me seven bucks to go see this movie. Person sitting right next to me. My eyes are sensitive. When I see that like a bright light in the corner, my eyes begin to hurt. But you can't look over to the person and be like, hey, could you please shut off your cell phone? No. Uh-uh. They will hate you. They'll be like, oh, I don't gotta listen to you. Nuh-uh. See? So it's like, I wanna go up to the person and be like, dude, or ma'am, or sir, can you please at least turn the brightness, the brightness down on your phone? Could you shut your phone off? Could you put it in your pocket? Could you not text? And if you need to text, get up and leave the theater. Or just like I said in my driving, or like I said in my rant about texting and driving. Tell the person before you get into the movie, hey, I'm texting and driving. I mean, I'm uh, I'm watching a movie. I'll talk to you later after the movie's done. If it's an emergency, call me. Simple as that. But like I said with etiquette, you know, it's like don't be loud while you're in the movie theater. I understand that it's a really funny part. Go ahead, laugh your ass off. I don't care. I seriously don't care. That's what the funny part's used for. But don't be texting during the movie, you know, blah. but don't but don't be talking during the movie and be like, oh my god, this part is so funny, la 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 la. I've had people, like, for like, for like the plot line, like being revealed in the movie. I was watching one of the Friday the 13th movies. All of a sudden, the person said, hey, guess what, Jason survives in this one. They ruined it for me. Along with when I'm watching Nightmare on Elm Street, is that oh yeah, Freddy lives in this one, even though it looks like he gets killed. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. I went there. JG, you're hogging the camera. Get the camera. You see, I want to be able to want to go to the movie theater to have excellent experience while I'm watching this. Okay? And if you see me in the theater. I'm just letting you know, I have my eye on you. My two eyes. They're not that good. Let's have my glasses on. I'm watching you. But guess what? I shouldn't have to do that. I should be watching the $7 movie that I'm watching. I should probably wait till it comes out on DVD and or Redbox. But no. But no. Well, that includes today's rant of movie theater experience. <laughs> I'm kinda cold. I guess can't chill out. Anyways. So thank you guys for watching this. Link down below of my previous rant. Hope you guys have a wonderful, splendid day. I'll see you guys later. And you have just been spoken to. Say goodbye to your camera. You smell like fish.